Today we're going to talk about MailChimp. MailChimp is an online all-in-one marketing tool. It's very effective at helping you, one, save time with correspondence, two, market to referral sources, and three, increase your brand awareness. As your brand awareness increases, this will increase your client referrals and help your business to be more successful over a long period of time. We're going to talk about MailChimp. We're going to talk about the fee structures that they have in place for the different plans. We're going to talk about how to register for an account and then how you create audiences. And then a lot of the power that MailChimp offers is through their campaigns. And some of the campaigns that they offer include uh, email campaigns, social media posts, ads, landing pages, postcards, that sort of thing. They're going to go to analytics, which means the details that they offer, and trainings uh, that exist for MailChimp to make yourself more proficient at it once you actually have an account. Starting with just an overview of MailChimp, MailChimp is the all-in-one integrated marketing platform for small businesses to grow your business on your terms. That means that it offers real-time data reports saying who opens your emails or not just emails or any of your campaigns at what point in time. It offers customer relationship manager, or it is a CRM. It has marketing automations, which means after one marketing tool hits your subscribers, it can trigger a second, third, and fourth one. You have an advanced testing tools, which is a paid for feature. So you can have two advertisements that are very similar, an A and B version of it, and see which one has greater traction. It has automatic email solutions and delivery infrastructure. And the infrastructure is just the systems in place to make all these things possible. Looking at the fee structure, these are the four different plans that they offer, starting with free, going all the way up to a premium at $300 a month. And that's starting at $300 a month, mind you. Um, so with the free one, I think that's plenty for any of our starting franchisees. A free plan offers up to 2,000 contacts. It has one user. So that means either you as a CEO or you can have a marketing person on your team take care of it. You can both access the account through one user plan. And then you have audience insights. It offers social media posts, but you can't schedule them. So when it talks about social media posts, that means you can post to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. But you have to either post then or save the post for a later point in time and then come back and post it then. There is a paid for feature where you can post it and or schedule your posts. And so that way you can plan out for the next month or two months. Um, you also have landing pages. So landing pages are those pop-ups that show up on different people's websites that ask for your information or to subscribe or things of that nature or just advertisements or they say click here or go to that. Those are landing pages. Uh, it includes emails. It includes automations and that's up to one automation. If you want to pay for a stronger plan or a higher plan, then it can do a limited number of automations. Uh, and then you have the postcards and postcards they will mail them off for you after you design them. Next, to register for an account, all you have to do is go to MailChimp.com and then up in the top right corner, it'll say sign up for free. And then it's just gonna ask you for some basic information. It's gonna request your email, you have to generate a username and password, and then they'll send a confirmation email to you. Once you click on the link in your confirmation email, uh, it'll give you a tutorial through the site and show you all the different features that exist and help you get your audiences all set up. Speaking of audience, let's talk about creating an audience. With a free plan, you receive one audience. With some of the paid ones, you can get three to five. But when it comes to their, even MailChimp recommends only have one audience. And then it's best to organize the audience with groups and with tags. We can go more into that later. They also recommend don't using third-party lists. Third-party lists would be ones that you pay for. So say you go to a conference that has 500 people and you get an email from a third party that says, hey, here is all the contacts of everyone who attended or registered for this event, do you wanna buy these 500 contacts? Uh, don't use that, or even if you, if you do buy it, don't use that for your MailChimp because a lot of those emails will get kicked back. To those people didn't subscribe, they're not necessarily interested in you, and that'll really contaminate uh, how powerful MailChimp is as a marketing tool. And MailChimp doesn't wanna be associated with spam. So, um, and honestly, they will give you warnings and cancel your account if you get too many people unsubscribing or labeling you as spam. And because they have the analytics in your emails, they know if they if you get your email moved to the spam list or blocked or something of that nature. Another tip that they have for creating audiences is to import many contacts at once. You can generate new contacts one at a time if you're putting them in for the first time, or you can copy and paste them in. Below on the link, it says import spreadsheet. We have created a template spreadsheet that just says first name, last name, email address, and then it has a couple other basic details such as their physical address 
and you can import all those or copy and paste them into MailChimp. And we can either show you how to do that if you have any questions or you can go to their tutorial and they can walk you through. Now, when it comes to organizing your audiences, the two best tools that they have are tags and groups. Tags are just labels and you can use any sort of label that you'd like and you can assign those labels to any contact that you want. Uh, tagging lets you bring your own contact structure into MailChimp and label contacts based on data that you know about them. So you can personalize those as much as you want. Groups function more like categories. And we'll have an example of what those categories could look like and how that could be featured in the way that you structure your MailChimp. So on the left, we have these tags that are listed. And you can have two, you can have up to like 20 or so different tags associated with any single contact. Whereas groups, their example here is what best describes your current experience, beginner, intermediate, advanced. Another example would be, what grade are you in high school? Are you a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior? Another example that's applicable to ABA would be, what type of provider are you? And that can be an SLP, OT, PT, um, BCBA. Um, you can even put primary care physician. So you have all that medical um, group listed together. You could have a client group. You could have a employee group. And under the employees, you could have BCBAs, RBTs, BTs, BCABAs, and those will all be different groups under your group categories. And the reason you want to use these tags and these groups is so that when you go to email or send out something, it's categorized for you and you can select which group or which tags you want to email to specifically. So it's just great tools for organizing your contacts. So all the contacts that you have in these audiences are really just a data management system. The power that MailChimp has really comes into the campaign features that they offer. Now a campaign is any distributed content that is created and measured. So the content that they're looking for here is emails, social media ads, social media posts, uh, information that you're looking to spread. And then when it talks about is created and measured, you're creating them in content in MailChimp and then you're measuring it. So you're measuring how many people open it, who's it going to, and all those different analytics associated with it. Um, so different campaign types, they have emails, social media ads, and posts. You're gonna have postcards, landing pages, and automations. Postcards are the snail mail. If you're trying to think of, is this an electronic feature or if is it a physical feature, those postcards are the physical features. When it comes to the landing pages, landing pages are a digital service and those are the pop-ups on different web pages that you see. And automations are that second, third, fourth email that automatically populates that you don't have to go back and schedule or send in yourself. It's already automated and programmed to do so. So you don't have to worry about going back that second and third time. And then when it comes to analytics, it gives you details about all the different services and campaigns that you're running. So you can find out what is best and what's working, what's not working, what's the best way to engage with your clients. So here's some of the different analytics that they provide. It talks about open rates. In your emails, you can add buttons or links and you can see who clicks on which links. They have different ways of portraying that. So they can just have it listed in just a tabulated form or they have a click or a link map. Um, so you have a visual. Uh, you can see who opened the links. You can see which subscribers opened it up your emails the most. You can look at the demographics of all different contacts. You can tailor your uh, marketing efforts towards different age groups or genders. You have social media impressions and engagements. So if you're using social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, you can see how many impressions that you're getting there. And then on the landing page visits, you can see how many people are completing those and subscribing. So those are just some of the details and they have lots of cool pictures and graphs to show you how you're really doing there. Now MailChimp is extremely powerful as well because of the different help and support that they offer you in the forms of training. So here's a list of links that they have. One's just to their homepage, but two, all their trainings are hosted on their knowledge base. Uh, they do have customer service reps that are there to help you as well. And they here a link to just uh, four or five of the different articles about audience best practices, email marketing, Facebook, Instagram ads, postcards, social media, um, and just their best practices for those different topics. So over the course of this video, we've talked about the overview, fee structures, and how to register for accounts. Then we went on to discuss the setting up of audiences, campaigns, and analytics, and provide you a list of links to get some more training and understanding of MailChimp. I hope this is helpful. Um, and I wish you the best as you venture into marketing. Bye-bye.